Hello everyone, my name is JD and this is the list of my top 10 SNES games. I chose this to be my first video, because first of all the SNES is my favorite console, and they aren't making games of it anymore, so then I won't beat myself up next month, because a better game just has been released. This is my opinion, but if there actually is someone watching this, feel free to comment with your own top 10 instead of complaining about my horrible opinion. I will start off this list with what is my favorite racing game on the SNES. F-Zero is a racing league from the 26th century. Even though these vehicles are extremely fast, I never have a problem handi handling them. But what I really like about it is the fact that you do have to be careful or else this stuff will happen. Despite there only be 4 vehicles to choose from in this game, it is my number 10. I'm not sure what it is about F Killer Instinct that makes it stand out compared to other fighting games, but it just does. There are all different types of characters to choose, from a knight to a dinosaur to a man who seems pretty much frozen to me. And even though Combo is my favorite character, I like to fight with all of them. So I give my number 9 spot to the fighting game made by Rareware. Yes, I am putting Super Mario World only on the 8th spot. Now don't get me wrong though, this is a great game with the overworld, the amazing levels and whatever it is you call these guys. But there are just games out there that I like even more than this. I have nothing to say about this game that is negative, so it just is a great game. Axelay is a great scrolling shooter. The reason I prefer this over other scrolling shooters is that you can go both vertically and horizontally. But mostly you can move beyond the screen if you know what I mean. And the boss fights in this game are really great. So this is one of the best flying games I've ever played. And that's why I'm giving it my number 7 spot. Star Fox. The best game to have a Super FX card installed is not only great for its graphics, it also has great gameplay, a great atmosphere and awesome level design. There also is the possibility to get a first person view in some levels which just feels great to me. Whether you are in Canaria or somewhere in space, this game is just as great anywhere. Super Castlevania 4 is just epic. You play as Simon Belmont and your goal is to defeat Dracula. It's just one of those games that I never get tired of playing. I'm not sure how often I've played it, but I enjoy it just as much every single time. And beyond that, it's kind of a wonder this game even exists, considering the gameplay of the first three Castlevania installments. But this one definitely deserves the Super in its name, and there's my number 5 spot. The Donkey Kong Country series is just great, and the game I chose to put on my number 4 spot is Donkey Kong Country 2. The reason I chose this one is because it is the only one of the three in which both playable characters are awesome. Something about Donkey and Caddy just doesn't seem right to me. But either way, this game just has it all, from good gameplay to great level design. And it even has some great side characters as well, so what's not to love about it? Super Girls and Ghosts, just wow. This is a game so good that even an anti-game protest group would love it. You play as Arthur and all you do is basically save your lady. I played this game for hours upon hours and never got bored with it. Just trying to find all the secret chests in the game is something to have fun with. The only complaint I can think about is that you have to beat this game twice. But overall, this is a great game. And to this date, it's one of the best games I've ever played. Now it's time for a game you've probably never heard of unless you know me personally. 
because then you would have heard me go on and on about it at some point in your life. The Illusion of Gaia, or Illusion of Time as it's known in Europe, is an RPG where you play as Will and your goal is to return the world to its modern state. The reason I like this game so much is most of all just the story of it, and it actually deals with, re with real life issues like death and religion. But the reason I put it so high on my list is because I think it's really underrated and it should be played by more people. The Legend of Zelda series has some great games, and The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past is no exception. I just love this game and I've played it over 10 times and, ch and still enjoy it just as much as the first time. But the reason I, I love this game would be extremely long to explain for this video. So I, w so I will probably explain it in another video, which will probably be, be a let's play of this game. That was it for this video, if you liked it please subscribe to my channel and press the like button. I will post more videos soon and those will probably be let's plays, more top 10 videos and reviews of other games. I will hope to see you in the future and goodbye for now.